Welcome to Set Apart Kingdom Ministries. I am here again with you all to just talk a little bit about it. I have a testimonial actually. I want to tell you I am a part of Eagles International Institute. Well, Apostle Pamela is, um, God gave her a vision and she took the vision, ran with it. And now when we do come together, we have people that come from all over the world, literally all con uh, countries, different continents come together, different cities come together. And what we do is we worship the Lord. We sharpen and stir one another. Uh, feel free to check us out on Eagles International Institute. And also, I, I just wanted to come and share some things with you today. And the reason why I brought up the about the Eagle, Eagles is because it was when I went to uh, the summit, is what it's called, the, the worship summit. For the first time, when I went many years ago, I was free. I was delivered from... from um, not being who I was called to be. And, and when I say that, I was delivered from not being who I was called to be. I mean, I was delivered because I didn't know that I was a prophetic dancer. I knew that I didn't dance and I wanted more. I was a part of a local assembly and I thank God for the foundation there and, and the leader and the, those are my sisters as well. And there was more. There was more inside of me that God had placed inside of me. And I didn't know. I didn't know that I was a prophetic dance minister. And I didn't understand. I just knew that I flowed differently. And I knew that I saw differently than, um, you know, the, the counting and the movement to this beat and that beat, but to flow with the Holy Ghost. And let me tell you this. I may have said it before, but I'll say it again. There is a place for that. There is prophetic choreograph pieces and there's choreograph pieces that are not prophetic, but in that one and no one counting, that all has its place. So I'm not diminishing or taking away from that. But what I am saying as a prophetic minister, I flow with the Holy Ghost. I flow with what God will give me and it looked different from what, what others were doing at that time. So when I went and I joined with the Eagles, I was able to see, oh my gosh, I just cried and I wept and got delivered and was like, oh my gosh, this is my tribe. This is my tribe. Meaning that I saw who I was and began to embrace that. And not only that, the next year that I went, I bought this garment. So I went and I looked for it. Let me let you see it. And it's to hold, I don't know if you can see it. It has bells on the end of it. And it has the ephod. Like when you read in the Bible about how God, um, have, how he was precise in how to make the ephod for his priests. This is a priestly garment. And I didn't even know anything about it. I was just like looking for a, a, a just like, honestly, I was looking for some garments that were pretty. And then I remember having one of my sisters who I now love to life. Um, I went to this place and I was like looking at these garments and she said, um, she began to minister to me. I can't remember the exact words, but she was like, let me help you look for a garment. And I was like, she said, because you just don't want any garment. You want your garment to speak for where you are, paraphrasing it, for where you are, for who you are. And I was like, okay. I mean, I was taking all this in, okay? I knew I had seen some garments the year before, but at that time I was in a different place of mindset. I'm like, God is just blowing my mind here with all this, what, I'm, what I was experiencing. And then the next year he began to deal with me on attire and um, dance garment attire and what that represents. And, and it's not just about, it's, it's, it is beautiful. And God wants us to be beautiful. He wants his dance ministers to dress in um, beautiful garments. Um, and I'll tell you this, because they are costly, you use what you have until God opens that door for you to use, you know, for you to get more garments, if that's, if that's your desire. But I believe that that was what he was dealing with for me, because I mean, it was on sale and everything and the, the garments called majestic glory. And I just gave God the glory because I was like, God, that's who you are. So I was just like in my feelings about like what people are going to think, how are they going to perceive me? And you know what? Uh, I met another sister who was there and she was like, I mean, she prayed with me. She was just like, look, you wear that garment. If you feel like God is telling you wear that garment when you wear because I had to minister that next Sunday, wear that garment. And I was accepted in, in my loving church at that time 
they were just, they embraced me. They, they did not make me feel away, but the enemy would have me think, okay, this is new. This is, this is, you, you know, you're going to be rejected. But the, that was a lie. That was a lie. So I just, I'm, I hope I'm just testifying to someone who may be in that place. It may not be dance. It may be. But whatever God is put inside of you or whatever God is instruct, instructing you to do, do it. Do it and be obedient. People are always going to work. We, I, people, we always have an opinion. Everybody has an opinion. But what is the Lord saying? Because it's all about him anyway. Because if we follow his instructions, even when it's hard, I remember Joyce Meyer saying, doing it in spite of fear. Even though it's fear, do it anyway. So I just wanted to come and share that testimony with you before I minister this next piece. And the next piece is playing now, but it's, it's giving God the praise. Because I'm giving him the praise that so do his holy name. Because I know where he brought me from. And I know that his plans for me are to prosper me, prosper me and not to harm me, to give me an expected end. So I hope you listen, listen in and I hope this piece, next piece blesses you. God bless you.